All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Community Delta V Maps mod, which is being released by user Pepepito. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, something rather quite simple. It takes the Community Delta V Map, which has been floating around the community for years now, and makes it accessible here in the game by adding it to the cave. ASPedia, and that is a wonderful thing. It also means it's going to be a pretty short video here today, but hey, let's jump into the KSpedia and then just head to the new Delta V map button, and bam, there we go. We have this magnificent image. And as I did say, this map has been in the community and readily available to all for many years now, and was a pretty cool effort by a number of different community members, though predominantly WAC and Calgan, to create this graphical representation of what it takes to get to different celestial bodies from Kerbin. And that is just a very useful and handy tool to have. And uh, for any of you who have never seen this image, I'll just sort of briefly give you a rundown. I mean, you do have a handy little legend over here telling you what each different bit means. But basically, if we start at Kerbin and say want to head to Minmus, we can just see what each stage of that journey will take at the very least sort of a bare minimum of Delta V to accomplish. So for instance, to get from a Kerbin here to orbit, which of course is the dot with the circle around it, again, as you can see from the legend, it's gonna take you at the very least 3,400 Delta V to reach an orbit of 80 kilometers. And then if we want to actually make our transfer intercept over to Minmus, well, that's gonna take an additional at least 930 Delta V in 56 hours. Then to make it into a 10 kilometer orbit around Minmus, it's going to take you another 160, and that final push to land is going to take at least another 180, for a total of at the very least 4,670 Delta V. And I say very least because that is sort of the idealized circumstances if everything goes right. For me, I've always used this tool of this beautiful map as a, well, I'm gonna need at least this much let's maybe add 20 to 50 percent onto it remember though i'm an awful pilot so yes it, it, this is sort of the bare minimum numbers and it's just so handy to have this tool and i've been using this map for years and i've always just had it as an image on my second monitor but having it in the game now is just so cool and very convenient especially because it is here in the kspedia you can access it from any of the different scenes in the game where you can get the KSpedia, which means if you're in the VAB, if you just jump in here real quick, well, down at the bottom right-hand corner, boom, KSpedia. And this is where you'll probably use it the most because as you build sections, you'll look and go, okay, well, does this section meant for this particular part of the mission have enough Delta V? Then you can check and be happy or sad, whichever, you know, depends on how much you went with. And of course, if you're on a mission and in the map view or tracking station, well, again, bottom right hand corner, KSpedia. And we have the Delta V map. So you can see, all right, well, this satellite on this mission is currently in this stage. All right, we're about to do this one, and I should have enough Delta V to continue. So it's just a handy thing to have, and having it in the game just makes it all that much more convenient. And yeah, that's really all there is to talk about in this wonderful, wonderful piece of work. So if you would like to check this out for yourself, I would say to, uh, you know, of course, take a look at the link in the description as per usual but that's gonna be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back to the next episode when we'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one